nothing can prepare you for what it's like. God. Role of the metrosexual dad now that carries the, you know, the man bag with the nappies in it and the creams and the powders and all that type of stuff, that didn't exist. <laughs> if you're looking at your wife, you know, physically getting bigger, um, and you're telling her that she's not. <laughs> When we were abroad on holidays, we would have, like, say, Disney World or something, we would have picked out, like, little names um, of, of kids we wanted to have. <laughs> You're also absolutely petrified as to what's ahead. And when the baby's born, is everything going to be okay? I mean, you know, it's amazing, but pregnancy scares the living daylights out of me. Marquinhos. These two little eyes looking at you. It's, you know, half you, half her. Um, and it's, it's just, it's, it's different. It, it really something kind of straight away grips you. <laughs> you know, th this person, this little person is absolutely uh, dependent on me now. <laughs> That whole expression, that pump and that noise and that sound. Um, people, some people watching this probably don't even have a clue what I'm talking about. But as soon as you see it once, you'll never forget it. Um, it's the closest thing to a cow, you know, a human cow you'll ever see. Um, but you love your wife dearly. You're gonna feed it, you're gonna change it, you're gonna wind it, and it's still gonna cry. But I always remember the first day one of the nurses coming over and saying, um, uh, and Georgina was down in recovery, and saying, have you ever changed a nappy before? And I said, no. And she said, well, you're about to learn.